All right, so we're just gonna run through how to tape um, someone else's uh, wrist. Um, if, you're, if you've got some wrist pain or if you're like sort of recovering from um, some reason that you've had to ha wear a splint, um, it's a good way of, of, of providing support that's like you know, very inexpensive and, and you can do yourself, which will be in the next video. So first of all, um, there's two tapes I've got here. One's a 25 mil tape, so it's a little bit thinner, um, both rigid, and the other one's a 38 um, mil tape. I'll just initially start off with the, the thinner tape just to see if it provides enough support, um, but you can always move to the 38 mil tape. So first of all, it's probably helpful just to have two pre-ripped bits of tape, um, just so that you don't have to um, um, sort of do that whilst you're taping someone. I've got one piece of tape that's about um, 15 odd centimetres long, and the other one perhaps a little bit longer than that, a bit closer to 20 centimetres long. And I've just got to um, leave them there for a second. And I'll just get Karis basically just to turn her palm up um, in that direction first. Um, lay on the, the thinner piece of tape. It doesn't really matter whether you have the small, the, um, the shorter piece of tape on this side or, or that side, um, but that will be the first bit of tape that you're tensioning out first. Um, so I'll get into that. And then the other one there. So you want to just get Karis to turn her hand back over. You end up like with these two um, ribbons. So initially to start off with uh, the shorter piece of tape, and we're gonna tension that up whilst uh, stabilizing um, on the un underside of the, of the tape where it's anchored there. And basically just tension it over. You'll sort of see the, the skin kind of coming over with it. And then you can like lay it on um, to the other longer piece of tape. Now, kind of like you would with a car ratchet, um, if you're like tying something to, the, to your roof, you're just gonna bring this back over and that's gonna sort of provide like a counter tension and then back over like so. And this, as you can see, like I've come across the, the, the midline there, which I, um, um, is, uh, is okay. You can either like um, lay that tight down without any tension so that you're not sort of tourniqueting the wrist. Um, otherwise you could just rip it off um, or cut it off with some scissors. I'll just rip it off um, there for now. And then that's essentially it. And just to, to anchor it off, just so that these bits don't fray off, I can just lay some tape down with like no tension on it so that you're not tourniqueting the, the carpal tunnel region. Um, and that should provide like a reasonable amount of um, support, but you could always put another lot um, or even try a, a thicker um, piece of tape just to see that it's more supportive. Thanks for watching another Flex.Physio video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, click on the button below, and you'll get all of our latest updates as they come out. Or you can go to flex.physio to check out our website for more information. See you later.